for the third match of the day, and that's a women's singles, three-time Malaysian Open champion. Tai Tsui Ying will take to the courts very, very shortly, and it's going to be an interesting match against Han Yue of China. That's what's coming up here on court two. We've had some scintillating badminton already. I'm just looking at the women's singles draw, Tai Tsu Ying and Han Yue, the winner there will face either one of Gregoria Mariska Tunjing or Su Wen Chi. But interestingly, further down the road awaits oh, Akane Yamaguchi potentially. Oh, there she is, a crowd favorite. Tai Tsu Ying making her way onto the court. She is one of the greats of the game already. She's won so much and is still going. And every time she steps on court, there is an appreciation for Tai Tsu Ying's ability and accomplishment. Han Yue, her challenger for today, who's also an interesting, exciting player to watch from China, looking to climb up the ranks. And who better to talk about what's happening in women's singles than Kirsty Gilmore? She is uh, very much still a part of the game and continues to do her bit. Kirsty, welcome. Hi, nice to be here. Love to be here. And uh, you, of course, played uh, earlier to, in this tournament. And uh, unfortunately, the result didn't go your way. Yeah, it was a tough one against Busanan. I've had a lot of tough matches against her over the years. Um, but to be honest, when I was playing, it was uh, so much less about who I was playing and more about the, the hall that we were playing in. Um, so I've got, I've got a lot to say about that. We'll see if it's flying the same way today. But from what I've observed so far, it's um, a bit more manageable now that the tournament's gone on a little bit. Maybe they've figured out a better setting for the aircon. Um, players seem to be hitting a bit more freely than uh, I felt that I could on in, uh, on Tuesday in my match. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to see how this um, lady singles will go on this court. Tai Tsu Ying, 28 years of age from Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei. Current ranking is third in the world, but she used to be a former world number one. She's been there for quite some time. First time was in December 2016. And uh, she's really been within the top three, top four since. Hasn't dropped out of that. And that just tells you about her ability and uh, how she's maintained herself all these years. Faced Clara Azura Mendy of Spain in the first round, 21 10, 21 10 in under half an hour. So smooth sailing for Tai there, number three seed here as well. Against Han Yue, it might be slightly trickier. This is the first time they're playing each other. They don't have the experience of being on court against each other. They must have watched a few videos, of course, but it's not the same thing as playing and facing each other, is it? No, definitely. You can't quite get um, someone's shot, like hitting rhythm and, and style through just watching a video. Um, you really have to go toe to toe with them on the court to really feel it. Um, some people have kind of different timings of hitting um, that you're not quite used to. Um, and, you know, players can adapt. So one video that you watched, you know, these players aren't, aren't stupid and they can, uh, they can change. And maybe that's how they played against that one opponent, but it's not necessarily how they'll play against you. So, uh, but I think they'll know the broad strokes of each other's games at this point. They'll have done their, their pre-match talks with their coaches and they'll have, have their game plan figured out. Well, she played Sina Newal in the first round, Han Yue, and uh, was pushed the distance, went to three came through in the end. The umpire for this match is Deepak Tapa of Nepal. And he'll be joined in the service judges chair by Mohammed Isaac Rusli of Malaysia. As we get ready to get this match underway, the question here, Kirsty, is will it ready. be favoring Tai Tsui as the seeded player, or do you expect right. a match up here? Tai Ju Ying, Chinese Tai good match. Um, but I think Tai Tsu Ying's experience and skill level might give her the edge, or I think will give her the edge. 
But saying that, the conditions here are Bang, tricky. Try to They're tough. I don't think um, this is a haul for perfect Play. badminton. So, yeah, we'll see how this one gets going. We'll see what kind of rhythm that each player gets into. This is about conditions. I mean, we've been talking Two about the drift love. for days now mm -hmm. on commentary. <laughs> sure. I don't want to be bored of hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in the, in the previous days, you could see it just sitting watching. You could see that the shuttle wasn't quite That's acting over. correctly or as you would expect. Um, One, but from the bits that two. I've seen today, it seems a bit, little bit closer to the natural flight of a shuttle. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if um, anything changes throughout this game. Well struck. Two all. It's trademark for me with Tai Tzu Ying. It's um, so much about she just moves you around the court, she moves around the court nicely, and then she just gives a critical hit. It's just that change of, of speed and that change of stick to the shuttle. She's a nice player to play against. She, she lets you play, she lets you move her around, she'll move you around, and then, like Three, I say, before you know it's on the floor, and uh, the game's suddenly different from the previous 20 shots that you've just played. <laughs> yeah, you don't get, like, the quick, short rallies with Ty, do you? You get the opportunity to make a game out of it, make a point out of it. Yeah, she doesn't often go for, like, the... the cheap quick point she's happy to to work for it um which is not something you can say about all players but she definitely allows you to that is so cross net shot not going in her favor oh. she was there ready for it but you've also got to see the angle at which the shuttle dropped from mm. Han Yue. Definitely, I think on that side, the shuttle might be holding up a little bit from what we've seen already today. Um, attacking on the side that Tai Tzu Ying is on has been a bit easier. Um, the shuttle kind of following through a little bit more, so perhaps the way that Han Yue is hitting, it's, n it's dropping faster pre-service line with Three. the wind. Flick of a backhand. <laughs> She makes it look easy. Imagine that the way I—I I mean, the way I've been seeing it—is on one end, it's about control. It's about you know playing the points as much in control as possible, and the other side is about trying to attack and trying to you know quicken the pace a little bit. Definitely, definitely. I think Han Yu's on the side that you need to three. play the control, work it around, try and get those um, kind of precision shots before the service line to get the lifts, and the side that Tai Tzu Ying's on requires a, a little bit more um, bite and sting to your shots. Power. Yeah, good bit of power. Ooh. That can get That's misplaced so quite quickly as well, for sure. Four, I think the way that we're six. looking at it, um, not from this angle, 
Um, this angle, I think we've got a slight breeze right to left. So Tai Su Young will have to watch out on that left hand tram line. Seven four. And four. Four. Seven four. On that seven, side of the court. Five, seven. It can be quite frustrating as well when you're playing. Definitely. Uh, in drifty shot. conditions because everything that you're thinking would work doesn't, right? Yep. That's four out of the six points that Han Yu has six, has come from an seven. error on that line from Titanium. And but do you still persist then playing that line? Or do you try to change it up? Yeah, I think just make the, the appropriate adjustments. Um, but it is it's every shot that you play, you have to have a 0 0.1 of a second readjustment to, OK, I'm going to do this, but I need to take a bit off. Or I'm going to do this, and I need to add a bit on. Um, and the best, the top ones make those adjustments the fastest. Being a bit safer on that sideline now. Creates nice. the gap over there. Yeah, keeps her opponent on the other end of the court. Makes it hard to reach. Absolutely. Eight, six. But having played in this arena for a few years, would you say that the conditions are similar and you're kind of prepared, or does it change from year to year? Um, you're always prepared for some sort of wind, just with the nature of this being a huge arena. Um, so yeah, you are prepared, but it's not going to be standardised every every year. I think this might be the fifth or sixth time I've played in, in this arena, and um, Nine, you would think it would six. get easier. <laughs> and it, it doesn't really, because it just changes by that fraction every single time, and every single time the players step on court within a tournament. Never mind, year to year, but it's Eight, also changed. Six. Like I say, it's flying differently from how it did on, on Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, yeah. And tai Tzu Ying at the moment, having opened up a four-point lead here. It's looking a little bit more comfortable. And managing her opponent. Takes Eleven, lead, 11-6. At the break, and uh, is putting the pressure on Han Yue to do the work. Back and forth. And the players make the ways back and forth to resume game one. Tai Chu Ying's last tournament before this was at the World Tour Finals, where she lost in the final to Hane Yamaguchi. It was a fantastic match Play. to watch. Great skill by both players. And she's looking to pick up from where she left off in that season. Playing that back there, but Tai Tzu Ying was ready and waiting. Six. That was a good quality net as well, but when oh. you're playing Tai Tzu Ying, it's not good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good shot. 
really good use of the counter Closer. there. Seven threat. Just a little bit out of position. Taitsuin to come back to that corner. Well, it's, the, it's also the need to be seven. constantly playing your A game when you play people at the highest level. Absolutely, absolutely. There's just not, there's just no room for loss of concentration, for slowing down. It's, um, yeah, like you said, to be your A game for 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes. Wide. 14. Seven. I think not quite as wide as Tessa Young thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. She left it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. She watched it mm -hmm. like a hawk. Right idea. You can see the change of pace. Did so much good work in that rally. Just that. perhaps just a little dip of a shuttle when she wasn't expecting, because it's not like Tai Young to to not be pretty clinical on those ones. Yeah, she just needed to lift that over the net. So easy when you're sitting up here, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it is. The perks of the job. Mm. You can pass comment versus having to play those conditions. Yeah. Another one down that sideline. She's been using the wind pretty Nine, well, actually, in the 40. last few rallies. Um, but yeah, just a little miscalculation. But it's all it's also that that you when you are sort of used to playing in a certain side of the court or you like playing on a certain you know, towards a certain side of the court. And then because of the conditions having to change that could be a thing. Yeah. Do you have a favorite side of the court? Uh, in here, no. That is over. Not particularly. Nine. I don't think. Thank you. She is a perfectionist, Tai Ching. She admits that she is her most, or her biggest critic. And uh, so when she doesn't get her shot right, she might want to try it again and again just to see when it when it, you know folds in the sure. way she want it you see that quite often from the top players just a, a shadow through of the a shot that they maybe missed so they're closer to getting it the next time that's nice does that change of pace we we're talking about having quite 16, a lot of success with setting up on nine. straight lines really getting her new working on that one half and then creating a big gap on the other side That is over. Came back to her 60. When she may try to return that, it's always going to be difficult. It's a fantastic wrist section that she has. That is over. So quick. 17 10. 17 10. This is a solid showing from the number three seed. And the question is what Han Yue needs to be doing to try to close the gap. I mean, right now, it's a little bit one-way traffic. You see a little bit of a burst here and there from Han Yue, but it's not consistent enough. Absolutely, so it's the question everyone asks when they're playing Tai Chi Young. It's like, how do I beat you? <laughs> um, 19, unfortunately, I actually don't have my, my player notes up here, or I would um, maybe give would a couple you of tricks in the trade, but um, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. I would see how it's going. <laughs> but I know when I played their um, World Championships in Huelva in 2021, um, I think, again, just particularly for that haul, because it was so slow, um, one of my 20 um, strategies 10. was to 
play a lot more into the court. Don't give her a chance to reach out and have her skills at the net. So I played her a lot more into the midcourt. Back. Well, Tai Tsuying does it. Didn't take long to stamp her authority in this match. 21-10. 21-10. In the first game. And she's well on her way. The three-time champion. A favorite here in Malaysia. A favorite for her as well. This ground. And she's taken this game by the reins. seconds. One, game one done and dusted. Game two about to get underway with uh, Han Yue having to do all the work now to try and keep Ready? this match alive. She needs to win Second this game. game. And uh, the interesting Play. thing is the change of ends. And Surely this would suit Tai more, having control of the shuttle. Yes, I think the side that Han Yu is now on is the side that we've seen people dominating so far today. And though it may be a little faster, but One I think that love. lends itself well to attack. Um, and from the side that Tai Tsu is now on, I think people have been finding it slow and uh, finding it difficult to uh, get out of tricky situations. But uh, if there's one person that's good at getting out of tricky situations, I think it might be Tai Tzu Ying. Um, she seems to have all the options at her disposal, so we'll see um, see how this flies. I was going to say literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> long diagonal after long diagonal there for Han <laughs> Yeah. But Han Yue, of course, is uh, part of a, the Chinese camp, which has a lot of talented women singles players, Her Bing Jiao, Chen Yufei, of course, the Olympic champion. So there must be notes exchanged in, within, within her peers about how to tackle this match. Of course, I don't doubt that they, um, they have some chats. Maybe they've got like a, a database of, uh, of knowledge. Um, but yeah, I, I don't doubt that all the players ask each other for advice on on upcoming opponents so yeah we've got a, a wealth of knowledge within the, the chinese camp that's for sure great well, quite high she doesn't have to move much in terms of court coverage it's just the anticipation love. and the vision of the shot Mm. This is the, the calmness that she brings to the game. I think another pr person that brings that ca same calmness is Ansa Young. Just with the movement, the smooth movement around court. Nothing really ever flusters them. They're in a stretch position. Oh, we'll just play a superb quality shot to get myself out of this, shall I? <laughs> oh, that was nicely done one by one Han Yue. Put away by Han Yue. One and she needs four. to, I think, play these attacking shots a little bit more take the game away from Ty a little bit. I think she's on the end to do that, for sure. 4-1. Mm. 
And we're finally on the scoreboard in the second game. So interesting seeing people high serve on that side today. It was just not possible. Not possible the day <laughs> that I played. I cannot Ooh. stress that enough. <laughs> That's nice. That's what um, Tai Tzu Ying did to Han Yu in the first set. Yeah, won quite a few points that same way. Ah! Just trying it again. But it was just maybe a bit too early, not doing what Tai Tzu Ying did in the first set, setting up those straight lines, making her worried Five, about the two. shortest distance, and then hitting the gap. She's kind of um, trying to hit the gap without creating the gap, <laughs> if that makes sense. Control the shuttle is a thing of beauty. Tai Tzu Ying. Six, two. Backhand cross net shot there. Wide. Uncharacteristic. That is so good. Put under a good bit Three, of pressure from Han Yu, though. Six, keeping it quick. And is. Uh, Got a chance to slowly close the, the small gap that's arisen. Ooh, with the luck of a net cord, that always helps. Four, yep. six. So I've been told that that's something that you sometimes try and practice is to get at the net cord and hope, you know, try and get the shuttle to roll over, get that angle sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. More with the doubles players because you're in such close confines with your opponent. Um, really nose to nose at the net, so you can really take the time to try and get on that net cord. Less so in singles, because you have a bit more of the space to guide it into. It doesn't feel like that sometimes, but um, you do. Oh, I'm lucky. Should have had that That's really good so opportunity there. She had the entire Seven, half of the court to four. herself there. Mm -hmm. Rushed in a little bit. Bit too eager. Just wide. Han Yue too had a pretty good outing in 2022. The last tournament being at the Australian Open, which we lost out in the semi-finals to. Gregoria Mariska Tunjum won the high low open before that, which was her first World Tour title in some time. And, uh, she'd be looking to build on Nine, that momentum as four. the new season starts. I mean, there is a gap. Kirsty between you know the 2022 season ending it's for some players a longer gap than those who play in the World Tour finals for example um, but is it a restart completely or can you carry some momentum I think you definitely can um, because as long as there's not been kind of injury or anything at your side because tournaments just roll into training and you're constantly you know adapting things based on what's just happened in that previous tournament. So if, if a new kind of, not necessarily area of weakness, but uh, an area that you could tighten up on uh, come to light, then you'll spend the time doing that. And then that's just a rolling stone. That's, that so you know, that is the momentum. And you're still Eight, in that kind of competition five. phase because you're, you're reflecting on the last one. You're thinking about ahead to the next one. Um, so I think that momentum's definitely, definitely a part of it and it can be carried on as shown probably best by Victor in that kind of, you know, there'll be a couple of months between tournaments. That's a beautiful shot. I had good success with that kind of cross Six, on cross ten. Um, returns. Tai Tzu Ying really drifting across, hoping for that straight hard one down the line. Han Yu goes back across. Seven, ten. She's got to stay within touching distance here, Han Yue. Doesn't have to 
make all her moves now can wait towards the end of this game to really push the pressure on but can't get the game to get away and it's tied to Ying on that note takes the four point lead at the break she's a game four points up I think since, second round. since Tai Su Ying is playing such a good game here, it's going to take Han Yue's best performance, I think, to, to take this one. I think she could keep it close, but I think Tai Su Ying will, will just have the edge due to this four-point gap and just due to her slight more kind of control and command of the, the shuttle and the conditions here. Good two. 20 seconds, go to 20 seconds. Quickly back on court. The two women eager to restart. Imagine Ty a little bit more eager. Just to get going and try and finish things off. She's had a Near perfect start to this match. Play. And the pressure fairly and squarely on Han Yue at the moment. Looks oh. all the right idea. It's just a little bit of execution. Uh, things. Yeah, she moved her around a fair bit in that point. You saw her sort of pushing the shuttle back and forth and sideways. Yeah, it's just doing it six, seven, eight, nine, ten times instead of the, the two or three that it would maybe normally take to break a player down. Not with Tai Tsu Ying. Shout out to Tai Tsu Ying's colour coordination today also. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Do much with that. Yeah, you know, sometimes when the net comes in the way. 14. I can imagine seven. how frustrating that is. You have no idea. That yeah. oh, was great when it's for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. In training yesterday, I couldn't have had more net guards. I've never had a day with as many net guards <laughs> for me. <laughs> Where was that during my match? She found the back line on that one. Service over. 8 14. She's got to try and test the boundaries and push out swing almost out of the court. Yeah, and it just has to, it pretty much has to be perfect against Tai Tsu Ying. The way she got her shots in, I mean, you think there was no drift. Oh, yeah. She has, again, the control is fantastic. And, you know, the comparison that you made is right. And, you know, probably the two best players in terms of women singles and controlling the shuttle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just, she makes Nine, it look so easy. 50. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Tai Tsu predicted that one really well. Predicted that Han Yu would go into that space. Just long, just wide. She's missing it. But smart 16, to go straight there again, I think. Nine. Create those straight lines to open up that gap cross court. Again, just the execution of it. Okay, high serve that time not working for her. Mm. 16. That's ridiculous. It doesn't get much better than that. Over. Just the precision. Is fantastic 10. on that. 
Look how close to the line she was. to the stage of the game where the next three points is behind you to really establish some kind of it's uh, no or never for yeah exactly for you another tie so you can help it yeah Eight three points away now from 11. the victory here the third seed the longevity of uh, tight suing also has been fantastic to watch. To be able to play at such a high level for oh, such yeah. a long time. Yeah, I thought there might have been uh, rumors a couple 11. of years ago that she was thinking about retiring. Um, but alas, she is still here. <laughs> and she's still playing cross court, round the heads, slices the hit net cards. <laughs> <laughs> many cross-court backhand clears um, but that one was uh, pretty on perfect yeah, maybe Han you thought it was uh, heading out because of the wind but that is over find its way in one match point save 12 20 eight more to go eight more to contend with mm, another one checked off this is often Penny the hardest point to get 20. in badminton. You want it done, and yeah. you want to be over with it, right? It's the fine balance of keep doing what you were doing, but don't relax at all, because it's not over yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that it? On the third time of asking Tai Tzu Ying, clinches the victory. Smooth sailing for the world number three. As she books yet another spot in the quarterfinal of the Petronas Malaysia Man, Open 2023. 21-10, 21-13. In a league of her own today was Tai Tsuying and Han Yue tried her best, tried to mix it up, but it wasn't meant to be. Just 32 minutes played and she's through to the quarterfinal.
you're watching the live coverage of the Petronas Malaysia Open 2023. This is court two action that's coming to you from the Axiata Arena. Three matches down. We're into the fourth one, which is the men's doubles. And 